Hello again. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a question on the Classworks tab within Google Classroom. So let's get started. Inside the Classworks tab of your Google Classroom, in the last module, you were asked to add topics. I'm going to ask you this time to add a question under each of those topics from the last discussion. To do that, let's walk through how that works. I'm gonna go up to the Create button and I'm going to select Question. When I select Question, it opens up this window for me to decide what kinds of questions do I want to ask. Where it says Question, this is where I'm gonna directly type in the question. How was the pace of our last lesson? Wanting to check how students might be feeling at this time. This could be a short answer and um, students putting in their own responses or it could be multiple choice and I'm going to select multiple choice in this case and I can add additional instructions and then where it says options I'm going to just type in my responses. So how was the pace of our last lesson? Too fast, too slow, Now, if I didn't like any of those or I made a mistake, I can come up to these X's and I can just click on the X and it won't disappear. I can also add another option. I can add attachments to this question. So I could have them read a short piece of text and then respond. Or I can create it on the fly. If I select create, I can create a Google Doc, a Google Slides, Sheets, Drawings, or a Google Form. So there are lots of ways to add resources to this. Then I come over and I decide who am I going to give this to? And I only have one course right now, so it's grayed out. But if I had more than one course, it would have a toggle down menu that would allow me to select which course. Then I can add which students do I want to use this question with, allowing me to differentiate. And when I select that, I can select all students, or if I had kids in this class, I could unselect this box and just pick the right students for this question. I can select points to be awarded to it, or I can select it to be ungraded. If I select points for it, instead of ungraded, I can change that from the 100 to any number that I want to. I can select if it has a due date. If I add a due date to the question, it will populate on the student's Google Classroom calendar. And then I can select a topic. So this is that task where I'm asking you to put a question below the topic. So then I can select a topic such as math. And I can give it a due date, like I said, I could add even a time if I wanted to. And then again, we can ungrade this or grade this again. So I have decided to add that one. I go up to ask, that would be live. The students would see it populate on the Classworks page immediately or this drop down right here allows me to schedule this to decide what day and what time does this show up. Or I can save it as a draft and then push it out when I want to. I like this feature better than scheduling only because I never know that if 10 o'clock is really when I'm going to want to ask that question or is it going to be 10.05 because other things have changed the pace of my class. But I'm going to go ahead and ask right now. And it says it's saved and it's showing you that it's asking. And now I notice that it's right under the topic that I asked for. So it's due tomorrow and it's right under the math. How was the pace of our last lesson? Let's create one more. I'm going to select the question again. And this is time is short answer. Um, who was the most successful? character in our reading. Now this allows students to respond. I can have students reply to each other as well. One great tip about this is if they reply to each other, they have to put in their answer first. That means that they don't see other people's responses until they have put in their own. I can allow students to edit their answer I can again, just like before, I can give this to just select students. I can change the point system. So here I'm gonna change this and make this 
four because maybe I'm grading on a one, two, three, four system. I can add a due date and then I can go ahead and ask. So I'm going to ask this question. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put it underneath of a topic. Well, the wonderful thing about that is that it's just hovered up here at the top. I hover over that. I'm gonna click on these three dots and I'm gonna be able to edit it. So let's go click on the three dots. I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna go into topic. And in this case, I'm gonna put it under reading and then click save. Now it's your turn. And we're gonna ask you to go ahead and put one question under each of the three topics that you added to your sandbox in the last session. If you have any questions, please put them in the discussion and also share with us how you might add sample questions to, for activities for your students in the fall.